Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all, but it was gonna have to do. At least I was facing in the right direction. Hello. Hello, Victor. Max? Max, you're, you're, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. No, you killed him, Poha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice or more. And right now, I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the Crotchet Prado told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow, like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. <laughs> I had no idea where the hell I was going to go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas. But then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. E aí, gringo? Que lost, kid. Eu me amarro nos estates. Por você precisa de ajuda, senhor? Speak English? Uh huh. Falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second. Look at her. I know lots of girls. Sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? <laughs> Isso. Jesus. This way, come on. At least I had found myself a tour guide. The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between. Hidden in the dark. What was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself, grasping at some desperate delusion of control? Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I cared to admit. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on
I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a streetwalker in a monastery. <laughs> Barracos e morros sem socorro no lugar Sem esperança, nada Sem luz que possa inspirar Continua Essa dando caralho melhor, Que porra é essa que você tá fazendo aqui? Como que você sai entrando aqui assim? Anda, anda, vai pra lá O que você tá fazendo aqui? Eu tô te perguntando Eu te chamei aqui, porra Easy, pal, easy Ah, então, você é americano de merda Look, I didn't mean any offense. Me dá só uma razão para eu não te matar, seu americano burro. Ah, desculpa, amigo. Por favor. Passa tudo que você tem, viado. Pega o dinheiro dele. Pega o dinheiro dele. Ah, relojão, hein? Passa aqui. Dá logo. Dá logo. Da puta. Valeu, mano. Bem-vindo à favela Nova Esperança. Agora não, fora daqui. All things considered. I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle-income ass-kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. First day off the sauce and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. If there was one thing I'd learned since I'd been here, it was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball. And for kids like these, was their one legal chance at a ticket out of here. Ah, look. Sabe jogar palitinho, rapaz? Mostra. Pô, oh, que isso? A coisa mais simples. Vai lá, mostra pra ele. Você escolhe um dos três palitinhos. Desculpa, uh, olá. Fala inglês. Uh, I'm a little lost, perdido. Onde uh, estou? Tá no lugar errado, rapaz. Uh, não compreende. Uh, I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não. Well, they weren't going to help me, and who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was going to find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me ah, dead. Passo baseado. Ih, não tô a vez não, passa aí, meu. Aí, tem visto o irmão do Wilson, mano? O que, que esse cara quer? Aí, bela camisa, hein? Thank you.
It was Monday afternoon, and I'd already been thrown out of a party, gone to a strip club, and got into a bar fight. This latest midlife crisis was certainly ticking all the boxes. The fireworks display was clearly in my honor, making sure everyone knew to roll out the red carpet for their surprise guest. I was walking into another not-so-welcome party. These hoods didn't look like Commando Sombra. Not that I was gonna get picky. This was clearly their turf, and I'd just shot up their favorite skin joint. I was getting nowhere fast. The cold turkey was messing with me, like I was looking through another man's eyes. I needed to focus. Yet more thugs whose Christmas card list I wouldn't be on. This wasn't Commando Sombra real estate. I had to keep moving. I could hear a woman screaming. I thought I'd found Fabiana, but instead I'd stumbled across some testosterone fest. A bunch of young punks with guns killing time the only way they knew how. Nova Esperanza wasn't exactly a dinner and movie kind of place. I recognized the hoods who jumped me earlier. I was trying to decide whether to crash this party or turn back, when my natural grace and finesse made the decision for me.
was going to be a safe medical detox. Fabiana's market value was falling by the second. I had to get to Serrano before he dumped his stock. These bastards look different, tougher, more capable. They didn't look like Serrano's boys, but I could tell I was moving up the food chain. I hoped Fabiana wasn't going to be served up come feeding time. Say what you want about these hoods. They knew more about branding than a Madison Avenue art director. Tropa Z. Looked like Nova Esperanza had a civil war to add to its long list of reasons not to visit. Soccer had gotten Claudio away from the favela, but it hadn't gotten him far enough. I couldn't imagine his death had done much to boost the CS's approval ratings in that part of town. Giovanna, charity worker and socialite. Work with the poor and play with the rich. You try to live in two worlds. Eventually you're gonna get your life ripped apart.
I couldn't find any clues in this place, so I decided to do my bit for the drugs trade. Definitely in Commando Somber territory. If Fabiana was still alive, she couldn't be far away. That much security, it had to be Serrano's pad. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured he wouldn't mind if I dropped in and thanked him personally for his hospitality. It wasn't like he wasn't expecting me. to hope the king was in his castle. As I approached the spot, I could hear raised voices. Then I saw that Marcello had turned up with a suitcase full of money along with Fabiano's sister, Giovanna. I only understood a little, but things were not going well. I wasn't expecting quite so many armed goons, but there was no backing out now. I would just have to act harder than I felt. Put the guns down! Let the girls go. No one needs to die, asshole. Don't you kill her! Don't you! Okay. Here I was again, with all hell breaking loose around me, standing over another dead girl I had been trying to protect. 